So here's a few homework examples for your upcoming assignment on proportional relationships. So this first situation says that Sam spends the same amount of time each day working on homework. This relationship is shown in the graph below. So notice we have the number of days along the bottom, so what day it has been, and then along the y-axis is the hours of homework. So this represents how many hours he spent on homework. And this line tells us after how many days, how many hours of homework he has worked. So the first question says, what's the unit rate? So in other words, we want to know how many hours of homework. So notice hours is on the y-axis. So we're going to put that on the top of our fraction and days on the bottom. So for our unit rate, we want to know how many hours per one day. So we're going to do this the quick way and look at the graph. And notice it starts at 0, 0, so this is a proportional relationship. So let's go to after one day, follow it up to the line. Here's our point. How many hours has it been? Two hours. So it looks like he spends two hours per day working on homework. So that's our unit rate. The next question says, how many hours would he have spent on homework after seven days? Now we could use the same method, go over and find seven days and then follow it up to the line. But notice that it doesn't, my line doesn't cross seven days. So I can't use the graph for this question, but I will use the unit rate. So if it says two hours per day, so here's our rate, two hours per one day. We want to know what the rate would be for seven days. So what do I do to one to get to seven times by seven? So do the same thing on the top to keep it fair times by seven as well. So two times seven is 14. So after seven days, he would have spent 14 hours on homework. Okay, notice that we just multiplied by the unit rate. 7 times 2 gave us 14. Okay, let's look at the same types of questions, but this time with a table. Samantha has a cleaning business in which she charges the customer a constant dollar amount per hour. This relationship is shown in the table below. And they ask, what is the unit rate? So, in other words, we want to know the cost per hour. So notice that cost is the y variable, so that goes on the top of the fraction, and then hour is on the bottom. So how much does it cost for one hour of cleaning? Well, notice one hour isn't listed here, so we're going to have to use another rate to help us figure it out. So let's use this one right here. So $16 corresponds with two hours of work. So the cost would be $16 corresponds with two hours. Okay, so let's use this rate to help us figure out the unit rate. So to go from two hours to one hour, I divide by two. Two divided by two is one. So let's do the same thing on the top to keep it all fair. 16 divided by two is eight. So that means she charges $8 per hour. So let's write it like this, $8 per hour. That's my unit rate. The next question says, how much money would she earn if she worked for 10 hours? Well, we could find 10 on our table, but it's not listed. So we're gonna have to use their unit rate to help us figure it out. So remember our ratio is cost over hours. And we know the unit rate is $8 per one hour. So how do we get up to 10 hours? So let's use this rate to help us find this one. So to go from one hour to 10 hours, we multiply by 10. So we have to do the same thing on the top to keep it all fair. Eight times 10 is 80. So after 10 hours, she would earn $80. And you can also see that we could just multiply the number of hours 
by the unit rate. Eight times 10 gives us $80. Okay, good luck on your homework assignment and please let me know if you need help with anything.